Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our virtual jazz club. Thanks so much for joining us tonight, and we apologize for the slight delay. We actually set up everything super, super early. We were like super diligent, and um, because we actually had everything set up so early, it, our, our camera just decided to like freeze on us. So that's what we got for trying to do the right thing. Kind of funny how that happened. But anyway, we're here now. Thank you for waiting. Um, for those of you who might be joining us for the first time, welcome. We are Laura Dubin and Antonio Guerrero. Thank you so much for being here. We've had such a wonderful time these last five weeks. We're almost done with week number five, um, doing these live concerts for you every night. And actually, you know what I just realized today? It's this today ex ex exactly today marks one month that we've been doing these because wow. I think I think we did our first one on March seventeenth because um, nice. it yeah Saint Saint Patty's Day. <laughs> So oh, yeah. yeah, so thank you to everybody who's been along on this journey with us. It's been a pleasure to keep sharing our music with you during this time and to have something to kind of keep us focused and grounded while all this, um, you know, craziness is happening in the world and in our lives. It's really been a joy to be able to keep sharing our music with you. Tonight, we'd like to start off with a jazz standard called Love Me or Leave Me. And um, this is a classic tune that was composed in the 1920s. Um, but our version was inspired by the pianist and singer Nina Simone. And I told this story a few weeks ago, but I'm going to repeat it again because there are probably a lot of new listeners tonight who didn't hear this, um, the story that I'm about to share. Um, a few weeks ago, I think it was actually the first week that we did these concerts, we played my original composition called Invention for Nina, which is dedicated to Nina Simone. And um, the first time I ever heard Nina Simone was actually on the radio here in Rochester on Jazz 90.1. Yeah. Hey. Um, I think Derek Lucas was playing, uh, playing this track that day. So thank you, Derek, if you're out there listening. Um, this was many years ago, um, maybe seven or eight years ago. I guess it's not like many, but it feels like many years ago now. Um, but we were in the car and this song came on. It was Nina Simone singing Love Me or Leave Me. And I knew who Nina Simone was. I just wasn't too familiar with her music. I knew that she was a singer, um, but I actually was not aware that she was a pianist. And so um, she was singing the song and then it got to the piano solo in the middle of the recording. And I was like, oh my gosh, who is this pianist? The piano solo was like nothing I had ever heard before. It actually sounded like Johann Sebastian Bach yeah. if, he was, if he was a jazz musician, which he could have been, I think. Um, so I got home and I Googled the record immediately and found out that that was Nina herself playing the piano. So I became a huge fan ever since that day. And this is the song that I heard on that recording. The song is Love Me or Leave Me. And it's from Nina Simone's first album, which is called Little Girl Blue. Love 
jazz standard from the great american songbook called love me or leave me and our arrangement was inspired by the great nina simone thank you to everybody who's watching tonight please leave us a comment and say hello and let us know where you're watching from and if you're new here please introduce yourself um we're always so excited to make new friends even though right now it's really just through facebook hopefully it will be in real life sooner than later um, but we would like to say a huge thank you to all of our friends who have been sharing our videos all week long, and not just this week, but since we um, began doing these videos five weeks ago. Um, we've really noticed that our audience has grown considerably in a short amount of time, and that's a huge thanks um, to, to you all for sharing our videos on your Facebook page. We appreciate that so much. Thank you. International. Yeah. Woohoo. People from Brazil, people from Mexico, yep. um, from Japan, Peru, from Japan, France. Our music's France, traveling yeah. far this and wide. Amazing. So all that we and gotta find course, out still uh, is if anybody up there. Penfield, is <laughs> um, Fairport. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell the Fairport story? <laughs> <laughs> this is when I knew that Antonio became a real Rochesterian. He was. Um, Wait, now I can't remember. You were we saying... We were listening to some, some <laughs> recording from, from... Oh, that's right. Yeah. We were listening to a very old record. I honestly don't remember what the recording was, but it was like an old jazz record. And uh, <laughs> in those days, sometimes, um, you know, the recording technology was not what it is today. So I remember what you said now. You were like, wow, it sounds like the piano player's in the room with us, and it sounds like the drummer is all the way over in Fairport. <laughs> It made me laugh because that was when I knew that you were a real yeah. Rochesterian now because you like <laughs> know about the names of different towns in Rochester. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> Shout out to all our friends who live in Fairport. Yay! Yay. <laughs> so um, next we'd like to play a composition by Dave Brubeck and our friends and family know how much we love to play the music of Dave Brubeck. His music is so beautiful and challenging and fun and it's just got a little bit of everything um and it's just such a joy to play his music and it's a a real lifelong project for us to learn all his compositions and this one is one of our favorites it's called it's a raggy waltz
That was called It's a Raggy Waltz by the great pianist and composer Dave Brubeck. And that's actually the first jazz tune that I ever transcribed, which means that I didn't have the sheet music for it, so I just listened to the recording a bunch of times until I learned it, and then I wrote it out on a piece of staff, staff paper, yeah. which uh, probably doesn't sound like you know much of a big deal, but it was kind of like a milestone moment well, for me the, when I did really it. It's really interesting, the, the A part and... and how they make this kind of 2-4 over the 3-4. Yeah, and actually that was, was pretty hard for me to figure out when I was uh, I was okay. in high school. Yeah, I was like, what yeah, is that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that is like, what? Yeah, yeah, actually, now that you mentioned that, when I was transcribing this, I think it, I was in high school when I did this uh, transcription, and I, I didn't realize that it was just in 3-4. I thought it was like, a, well, I didn't really know what it was until I wrote it out, and I counted along a bunch of times, and I was like, oh, it's really just in 3-4, but it sounds like it's in 4-4 yeah, or 2-4. But four. could be uh, 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 wrote in like a two bars or four bars of, or 2-4. Right, or it could have been written that four, way, four, yeah. Four, <laughs> <whatever>. <laughs> yeah. It still, as long as it would have, if it still had the same notes in the right, in the same place, then it could have really been written either way, technically. But um, yeah, so a little interesting story yeah. about that. So if you're enjoying the music tonight and you'd like to show some support for what we're doing, please head on over to lauradubin.com. There's a, there's a link right in the video here, and the link will take you right to the music slash store page of my website. And there's three different things you can do there. The first is that you can download our albums. That's the first option you'll see on the page. You'll see a bunch of pictures of all of our album covers. You can click on those pictures and you can sample each album, and then from there you can um, do your online checkout. Um, if you scroll just a little bit past the album covers, you'll see um, an area where you can make a one-time donation. There are several suggested amounts that you can choose from, but you can adjust any of them if you so desire by changing the quantity. And then the third and final option, if you go all the way to the bottom of that same page, you can become a monthly patron of Laura Dubin Jazz. So you'll see a drop-down menu with different amounts that you can choose from, and that will be... Um, um, whatever amount you'd like to contribute once per month. Then when you click on the yellow subscribe button, you'll be redirected to a PayPal website. And from there, you can set up an automatic credit card payment. It'll be an automatic uh, monthly recurring payment. So you just have to set it up one time and then um, it'll just go through once a month from there. Um, you can always cancel at any time if, you know, a few months from now or a year or something um, from now you know, your situation changes and you're unable to continue doing the monthly payment. There's no penalty if you need to cancel at some point. Um, so I just thought I'd mention that. The PayPal website is secure. My website is also secure. Everything stores your uh, credit card information securely and we don't have any access to that information. However, if you'd like to make a donation but you prefer not to do it online, please send me a private message here on Facebook and we can talk about another method. And if you're not able to make a financial contribution right now, that's totally okay. We're so grateful that you're here listening to our music. It really means the world to us that you're here and that we've got an audience to keep sharing our music with during this time. It's so wonderful for us. So um, we'd like to continue now with a classic song by Cole Porter. And this is our kind of Brazilian inspired and swing inspired arrangement of I've Got You Under My Skin.
if anybody recognized that tiny little segment of another tune that we just played at the very end, please let us know in the comments. <laughs> that was our arrangement of Cole Porter's I've Got You Under My Skin. Um, next, we'd like to play a piece from West Side Story. And uh, we've been playing a couple of our West Side Story pieces recently. As most of you know, we released an album last year called Laura Dubin Trio Plays West Side Story. And we premiered that whole program at the Jazz Festival last summer. That was sort of like our release of that album. It was the first time we premiered any of that music in public. And um, we love playing it still. It's um, so much fun for us to go back and play these arrangements again. And this is our arrangement of one of the very dramatic songs from the musical. It's actually one of the last songs in the musical, and it's called A Boy Like That. And all the West Side Story fans out there already know this, but um, for those of you who may not have seen West Side Story, this song is sung by Anita, um, who is um, a dear friend. I think they're actually, I'm trying to remember now if they're related somehow or they're just good friends. Um, but anyway, she's a friend of Maria. Maria is, of course, the leading um, female role. And Anita is, yeah, exactly. Maria, Maria, Maria. Wait, is the camera? No, no. <laughs> I hope, the I hope the camera was on you when you did that just now. It was very dramatic. <laughs> I love when you do little things like that to surprise me. <laughs> I've got a funny story about that, by the way. About <laughs> I, I we keep getting a little sidetracked. But um, anyway, Anita sings this song to Maria toward the end of the musical. And Anita is trying to convince Maria that she should not be with Tony because he's just no good for her. So it's called A Boy Like That. She's saying, a boy like that wants one thing only, and when he's done, he'll leave you lonely. It's got all sorts of dark lyrics. Um, but actually, I don't know if my friend Claire might oh, happen yeah. to be watching. My, birthday, it's my friend Claire's, our friend Claire's yeah. birthday today. Claire's one of my best friends in the universe. We've been friends since we were like 13 or 14. And when we were in high school, um, our school did West Side Story as the school musical one year. And Claire was Anita. And she just rocked that part so much. She is like the definitive version of Anita for me to this day. So um, if Claire happens to be watching, we're going to dedicate this one to you for your birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> Yay. <So nice>. yeah. <laughs> and also on the Maria story, um, if my dad is watching. Um, <laughs> hi, dad. I remember one time... Um, I was like in high school, we were listening to the West Side Story soundtrack and um, we were listening to the song Maria and one of the lines, <laughs> the lyrics, if you want to call it that, there's a part of the song Maria where Tony's just going, Maria, 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 over and over again. And <laughs> I have this distinct memory of my dad saying, all right, all right, we get her name. <laughs> or we know her, we know her name by now. <laughs> Those might not have been your exact words, yet, but it was like something, something like that. Obviously, it was a joke, but it was really funny. I remember it still to this day. So when you said Maria all dramatically like that, it made me remember that story. Exactly. <laughs> That's a beautiful song, by the way. We're not like actually making fun of the song. It's more, yeah. It's just, it's just fun to say that. To Lenny and yeah. everybody. Leonard Bernstein. Yeah. Who wrote the, yeah. Yeah. Who wrote the lyrics? Steven Sondheim oh, okay. wrote the lyrics. Yeah. So, yeah. And they're beautiful lyrics. And obviously there's a reason why the word, the name Maria is repeated throughout the song. It's the Tony's falling in love with her and he wants to say her name over and over again. But I digress. That's not the song we're playing right now. We're playing A Boy Like That. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we hope you enjoy our arrangement of this. It is... Um, a tango in all sorts of odd time signatures. It might be the first of its kind. We're not sure, but um, we hope you like it. Hope you like what we've done with this. <laughs>
That was our arrangement of A Boy Like That from West Side Story. So we've got just a couple more tunes to play for you tonight. And um, after the music ends, we would love to stick around and say hello to all of you for a few minutes. Um, so we hope you'll stick around. Please leave us a comment and say hello, and we will respond directly to your comment. Um, and also, I try to... Um, I do look at all the comments here. Um, sometimes there's like one or two comments that for whatever reason, they don't show up right at the end when I'm looking at the video. And I think sometimes it's because the video is still live and maybe some of the earlier ones aren't um, showing up, but sometimes they do. So I don't really know what Facebook's algorithm is exactly, but I do look at them all. I respond here to all of the ones that, um, that I do see. And then I will um, look through them again later tonight to make sure that there weren't anybody any comments that I missed and I will reply to the ones that I did miss if there were any. Um, so anyway, please say hello. We'd love to know who's watching out there. And if you're new, please introduce yourself. We're so delighted to have you here in our little corner of the world and uh, so great to share our music with you. So next we'd like to play a beautiful composition by Bill Evans. And actually this is another waltz um, by Bill Evans. Last night we played a piece called Up With The Lark which was actually composed by Jerome Kern, but Bill Evans has a beautiful version of it. And um, I mentioned something last night about how Bill Evans can play a song that he didn't actually compose, and he has a way of making it sound like so convincing that you think he's the one who actually composed it. Um, so this is actually a piece that he did write, and apparently he wrote this tune when he was in college. It's called Very Early. And speaking of very early, I'd like to take this opportunity to do a little more self-promotion. Um, tomorrow morning, if you're an early bird, we are going to be on the news at nine in the morning. I guess it's not that early for some people, but I'm just using the title of this song as an excuse to tell you all about it. Um, we're going to be on News 10 NBC, um, WHEC, and we'll be doing a little interview and talking about these online concerts that we're doing, and then they'll be showing a couple short video clips of um, some of our previous concerts. So we hope you'll tune in. We're really excited about it. Um, I think it goes without saying that the interview will be here. We're going to be doing it through FaceTime because social distancing. We're not actually going to be going down to the station. It'll be um, a FaceTime interview. It's one of the great things about all the technology we have is that we can still um, find ways to keep going about our lives even when you know, it has to be a little different than usual. But anyway, if you're up at nine in the morning, we hope you'll tune in. Um, that's News 10 NBC. So without further ado, here's Bill Evans' composition called Very Early.
That was a Bill Evans composition called Very Early. And we hope to see you tomorrow morning very early when we make our little appearance on TV on News 10 NBC around 9 a.m. Hope to see you then. Uh, well, we've got one more tune to play for you tonight. And before we play the last tune, I'd just like to say one more time in case we have anybody who's joining us now who maybe um, was not here for the beginning of this video a little while ago, um, about an hour or so ago, or whenever we started 45 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, not keeping track of the time, but at, if you weren't here at the beginning of the concert and you missed um, this announcement the first time, I'm just going to repeat it again. If you are enjoying the music tonight and you'd like to make a contribution to show your support for what we're doing and to help us continue doing these videos for as long as possible, please head on over to lauradubin.com after we play this last tune. There's a link right in the video and the link will take you right to the music slash store page of my website. And there are three things that you can do there. You can download our albums. We've got seven albums for you to choose from. And that's the first thing that you'll see on the page. You'll see um, icons of all our album cover pic uh, pictures, designs. And you can click on those and you can find out info about the albums. Um, you can sample the music and then you can, of course, download them from there. Um, if you scroll just a little bit past the album cover pictures, you'll see um, where you can make a one-time donation of any amount that you choose. There are several amounts there that you can choose from, but you can also adjust them if you'd like by changing the quantity. And then the third and final option, if you scroll all the way to the bottom of the page, you can become a monthly patron of Laura Dubin Jazz. So you will see a drop down menu where you can choose the amount that you'd like to donate once per month. Then click on the yellow button that says subscribe, and then you will be redirected to a PayPal website. And that's where you'll set up your monthly automatic credit card payment. PayPal stores your information securely. You only have to set it up one time and then it'll just be automatically deducted um, once per month. If you ever need to cancel your monthly payment um, further down the road, if your situation changes, you can always manage your settings later on. And um, there's no penalty if you do need to cancel it at any time. Um, PayPal is secure. My website is also secure. We don't have any access to your um, card information or anything like that. However, if you want to make a donation, but you prefer not to do it online, please send me a private message here on Facebook and we can talk about another method. And of course, if you're unable to make a financial contribution right now, that's okay. We are so grateful that you're here watching our video. Um, looks like we've had a great audience out there tonight. We thank you so much. And um, your support really just means the world to us. Yes, thank um, you to all our family and friends who has been supportive and and thank you. Thank Absolutely. You. Yeah, you've been um, such you. a support for us these last few weeks, and it's um, really given us so much motivation just to keep going and to keep sharing our music with you no matter what. So that's been hugely um, meaningful to us. Thank you so much. Well, we'd like to play our last tune for you now, and we're going to go out with a really fun tune by Thelonious Monk that we just never get tired of playing this classic called Blue Monk.
That was Blue Monk by the great Thelonious Monk. And that is all the music for tonight, but we're going to stick around and chat with you for a few minutes. I think I saw a couple comments pop up while we were playing, so we'd love to see who's out there listening tonight. Who is out yeah. there? Yeah, who's there? Knock, knock. <laughs> I know it's like stuff. Huh? Knock, knock. Is that right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So um, if you're watching this on my personal Facebook page, um, please head on over to my music page, Laura Dubin Jazz. If you have not already liked my music page, please give it a like because that way you'll be notified every time we um, do these live videos and anytime we post any other kind of music related content or anytime we have news to share, um, you'll be one of the first people to know about it because you'll be uh, uh, receiving alerts um, from my page. Um, also, if you haven't signed up for my mailing list yet, please send me a message and um, you can just message me your email address. You don't need to leave it in the comments here. You can send it in a private message. Or um, you can also just go to the homepage of my website and right on the homepage, just scroll down a little bit, you'll see a sign up form. You can just type in your email address and click submit and that will be sent directly to me and then I will add you to my list. Um, it's not spammy. I really only send emails like once or twice a month, maybe three times, maybe four if we've got like really big news going on. But um, it's not like you'll be getting emails every day or anything, um, you know, like that. Um, so we hope that you'll sign up for those because... And what about yeah. um, subscribe to the YouTube channel? Yes, thank you for reminding me. I think hey. I forgot to mention that last <laughs> night. Thank you. So um, these videos, after we stream them live on Facebook, we are also posting them to YouTube every night after we finish the performance. So if you have any friends who aren't on Facebook, well, first of all, they can actually watch these videos on Facebook in real time, even if they don't have a Facebook account. The only difference is they just won't be able to interact with the video. They can't like it or leave a comment or anything, but they can still see it. However, if you have any friends who just, for whatever reason, they don't want to use Facebook at all, they can watch our videos on YouTube instead. And um, they can also watch them on my website on the videos page. So there's plenty of different ways to see us. And um, we hope that you will become a subscriber of my YouTube channel as well. It's called Laura Dupin Jazz. Oops, I clicked on something accidentally without looking. <laughs> <laughs> See a bunch of comments here tonight. Woohoo! Hey, Dad. He says Happy Friday. Thanks for the music. I know yeah, I can't yeah. believe it's it's Friday. It feels it's Friday. It's hard to remember what day of the week it all is from. Uh, uh, as we go through this time, but we love Fridays. yeah, Friday is always my favorite day, even more than Saturday, because when it's Friday, you've got the whole weekend ahead of you. And there's just like exactly. that anticipation. Thank you. Jan. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you so much for watching dad. Thank Yay. You. Jim and Judy Henderson. Great job as always, Jim. Thank you so much for watching Jim and Judy. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jim By the way, Judy. my mom's name is Judy. I don't know if I ever mentioned that to you before. It's a great name. Hey, Donna, thank you so much for watching again. Thank she you, says, Donna. I just set my DVR to record your interview tomorrow. Perfect. Thank you so much. You We're looking much. forward to it. <laughs> Siobhan is saying, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Siobhan. Maria. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> and there's a couple music notes after it, too. <laughs> oh, Deanna says, wow, the best drummer. Oh, I'd have to agree sister. with her. Thank, thank you so much, you. Deanna. <laughs> and mom, your mom's watching also. Oh, thank, mama. You, mama. Gracias, mama. thank you so much for watching, everybody. And Alejandro is watching. He Gracias, says, Ale. Mucho éxito. Merci. 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 Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> got my languages merci mixed beaucoup. up there. I said merci Gracias, so Gracias. many times when we were in France last summer that I got used to saying that. <laughs> I used to speak much better Spanish, but uh, I got to got to start practicing again <laughs> thank you so much our, to our family in mexico for watching thank you oh and our friend joanne hi joanne she says hello from fairport yay yeah, exactly <laughs> that yeah. must have been i assume you left that comment when we were talking about fairport yeah. Woohoo! fairport's a great place oh, and yeah. linda's watching too linda says happy friday evening hi linda thank you so much for watching thank you Linda. so great thank to have you, you all watching. here let's see it looks like um i think that's everything here just popping over to my other Facebook page. Oh, Mike Velasquez. Hi, Mike. Thank you Mike, so much for sharing the video. You, yeah. Just shared our post. Thank you, Mike. Um, I don't know if you saw the beginning of this video, but I gave a little shout out to 90.1 because in the beginning of the program tonight, we played a song that, um, that we learned from a Nina Simone recording, um, her album, Little Girl Blue. And the first time I ever heard that album was on 90.1 yes. and it really lit a fire within me. So thank you so much for sharing, Mike. You, Mike. Hope you're doing well. Going to head on over to my other Facebook page here. And let's see. Yeah, I think it looks like all the comments were on uh, 
on the main page. So I'm, I'm streaming this video on my Facebook music page. Um, and then I just share it on my own, um, page as well. So, um, thank you so much everybody for watching. We'll be back here at the same time tomorrow night, 8 30 PM Eastern standard time. As far as we know, at this point in time, we're going to be doing these every night for a really, really, really long time. So we hope you'll continue to watch and thank you so much for being along on this journey with us. Have a wonderful night. Thank you. Thank you for your love and support. Yes. Thank you so much. Bye.